Well, hello once again. I'm not trying to bore you with video after video here, but I'll make this the last one uh, on an update on Wifey. Uh, what I'm going to have to do, she's not out of the woods yet. You know, the wife is not out of the woods yet. Even though she's 98%, I still have to watch her because she could flip back in at any moment. <clears throat> we certainly don't want that to happen. I sleep in the recliner chair at night. She's laying in that bed that goes up and down. I, I've got the recliner, you know, where I can look right at her. If she makes any noise, I just grab the flashlight and shine it on her. If it looks like she's going to have another problem, I'm going to be right there for it. But so far, she's doing great. Doing wonderful. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'm going to cook her some eggs, bacon, and potatoes and onions. Well, why potatoes and onions? Because Michael Carter, our good subscriber, said, Feed her potatoes and onions. That'll fix her up, so that's what we're going to do, Mike. <laughs> well, you don't mind if I have a few myself, do you? <laughs> that's what we're going to do. We're going to whip up a nice breakfast for her tomorrow. I'm going to try to get her to say hi at the end of this video. But I want to tell you a little story, and then I'll tell you what we're going to be doing in, in terms of, you know, our back to our regular programming as far as, you know, videos go. <clears throat> I asked, you know, I was talking to the wife today, and I told her, I said, you know, all the guys and, and ladies that subscribed to us, you know, they had offered up all those prayers and you said thank you and they were going to keep doing it and that sort of thing. And I said, you know, she said, you know, that's really what got me through this. And I said, what are you talking about? She said, well, when I was laying there in the hospital, she had been there four days. She didn't even know she was there. She had been there four days and she said, I saw this bright light up in the left-hand corner of the room. And I said, I didn't see any bright light. She said, well, I sure did. And uh, she said, she said it was God. And she said that she asked him to give her a little more time before it was her time to go. And because she had to make things, a few things right that she had done wrong and a couple other things. He never answered her back or any of that, but she said all of a sudden the light went out and she started feeling better. You know, I read about stuff like this and, I, and sometimes there's a lot of, you know, poo-poo and all that. Who, there again, who's to say? She swears by it. She said there's no doubt in my mind. She said it was the people who had been praying for her and that white light. She knows without a, without a shadow of a doubt that that was God. He didn't speak back to her. She didn't hear any voice or anything like that. But she said she instinctively knew who it was or what it was. She made her request and instantly began feeling better. Now, that's hard to, hard to argue in there, okay? I just want you to know about that story. Take it from what it's worth or what the, you believe one way or the other. I personally think it was wonderful regardless of what it is. She's back with me and I'm a happy camper. Everybody's going back home now. Uh, our, our oldest grandson should be in, back in Turkey. His wife should be back up in North Carolina. Our second oldest grandson should be on his way to Colorado right now. Great grandma and her two daughters are out in North Carolina. And my son is, and his wife are up in Rogers. And, and by the way, the Karate Kid and his mom are down in Orlando today for a tournament down there, a big time tournament down there, a karate tournament. So they'll be coming back in a day or two. And I want to move into what we're going to be doing with, with Wifey not out of the woods yet. I can't spend a lot of time out here in the shop in the garage. I just can't do it. It's too early, you know. And besides, at night the temperatures are dropping down. Tonight it's supposed to get down to 30, 38 or something like that, 36. And during the day it's been pretty wet and pretty cool. So... I told you in the previous video, the circumstances alter cases. Well, you know, this is another one beyond my control. We're not going to be working on the Thunderbird from here on out until the spring. However, between now and the spring, I'm going to accumulate the parts I need to really hit it hard as soon as it warms up, depending on wifey's health condition, okay? I just can't leave for two hours out here. I'd be, I'd be constantly going back and forth worrying about, is she okay, is she okay? Even with the cell phones, you know, she might have, something may have happened. She wouldn't be able to call me. I could, I'm, I'm very concerned about that. You know, you had to have been here the morning she got real sick. That was a scary situation. And uh, you almost feel helpless, you know. You know you're not helpless, but boy, I'll tell you, you, you almost feel that way. And uh, 
So I'm going to accumulate the parts I need. We're going to get the leaf springs over the winter. And we're going to get a new, uh, a new power uh, brake uh, booster. I want a new one. That one out there I don't think is working right. And uh, we're going to get a new booster and put that in. We've got a lot of other parts uh, I want to pick up. Uh, we're going to get new brake hoses, the flexible brake hoses for the front wheels, things like that, you know. Come the spring, we're going to throw that crap in there, and we're going to get this car out of here and drive it up and down the road, up and down the road. So that's what I'm, but in the meantime, this is what I have been working on prior to Wifey getting sick, is the radio for our, our good dentist. It's 99% complete. All the wiring has been changed, all the components have been changed. I'm now working on the IF CAN wiring. Uh, I took out that old stuff. It was just nasty, nasty, nasty. I'm, this is uh, this is the bone yard that had all the crap in it that I took out of that radio so far. I don't know if you can see that or not. Old nasty wire. I like to save this and show people when I give them the radio. I say this is what came out of there, you know, because sometimes they wonder, did he really do a good job, you know? This is it. He, every little scrap of wire, every component, every little everything that came out of that radio went in here. So that's where we're sitting right now. And I'm going to take this in the house. I told the wife, I said, hey, uh, you know what this means? It means i got to move all my shop back in the house. <laughs> she, she says, that's okay. I'll let you slide one time. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to take all the, 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 the chassis part and the soldering iron and the solder and the solder sucker and, and a few things like that. I'm going to work on it in the house. You know, again, where I can keep an eye on her, she can watch her TV. And uh, we now have Hulu and Netflix that she can watch. I'm not a big TV watcher, but she she enjoys Criminal Minds. That's her big uh, Criminal Minds. She sits there and watches it all day, and I'm like, oh, my God. It takes a Criminal Mind to watch a Criminal Mind. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. We're going to be moving this in there, working on it in there, and hopefully finishing it up. But uh, right now, I, I'm running out of time as far as, uh, you know, uh, humid weather, damp weather and everything. i got to get this cabinet painted, uh, or at least, you know, trimmed in the lacquer uh, toner best I can. I need to get that done in the next couple days. But first I need to move all this in the house. Once I get the IF cans in and install the new electrolytic capacitors that we're going to put in there, then we can go ahead and take the, uh, the bag of tubes I have right here, all nice new, stick it in there and in the house and see if I can get some noise out of that critter. So I just wanted you to know this is, this is the update. This is probably be the last update. Uh, for a while, unless something happens, which I hope it's all good, nothing negative. God, that would just tear me up if that happens. I'm, I'm about negative out. I'm, I'm, I'm really bush from all this. One in one person mentioned that uh, I think it's I am, I am a rocker or something like that. Said uh, uh, I'm looking thin. He's right. I, when I, my lad, before I retired, I'd sit in this building all day eating donuts and candy, and <laughs> just wolfing down all kinds of snacks and everything, and I put on too much weight. I wanted to get down to about 165, so I've been able to come down slowly, and uh, this June coming up, it'll be, well, it's been almost a year and a half since I retired, and I've been going down slow, 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 and I'm down to like 161, so I'm actually below the 165, but that's okay. My weight almost always ran around 150 anyway, so... When I married the wife, I was one one twenty two, <laughs> and she weighed ninety eight. <laughs> anyway, so so I'm I'm okay. I'm healthy. I just don't carry as much weight around as I used to. I can't really afford to carry a lot like most people are. When I mean, you get my age, you don't want to be carrying around a lot of weight. You know, you're out there wheezing every time you do something. <gasps> you can't even go up a set of steps. You know, forget that crap. Get rid of that blubber. You know. So anyway, that's what's going on, and uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, thanks a lot for all your support. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Until next time, this is John. Hi, everybody. Thank you for all the prayers and the well wishes. They were a great help, I guarantee. And continue the prayers, please.